year, I did say once I become undisputed that I will go back to Australia and have the first female um, undisputed championship there in Australia. I'll have my defence there. Um, that's my plan. So um, they will see me there with all my belts. And I would say, I'm assuming, my, my timeline for me is 2025. So. Um, I, I don't know, um, it's a genuine question. I mean, are you a bigger star in the UK now than you are back in Australia? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, um, boxing's not too big in Australia. Um, if you want to be a star in, in Australia, it's more like uh, your, your rugby, you know, or, or these kind of sports. Um, but I'm, I'm well known for sure. But I think definitely UK boxing's right up there. It's the second biggest sport besides football. So if you're a star here, you're, you're mega. And you? I, I definitely haven't had murals being painted about me in, the, in Australia, but I've um, got that here. It's beautiful. And uh, your social media presence, if that's the right term, I mean, you've sort of exploded over the last four or five years, really. I mean, your presence yeah. on social media, your following, your fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Um, I'm the most followed female boxer on all, all platforms in the world. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. And, you know, these, uh, these days, uh, that online presence and that social media thing—it's a—it's a thing, you know. It's—it's it's part of the, part of brands, part of making money. It's part of business, you know. Um, it's, it's a popularity contest a lot of the times with with boxing. With and if you got fans, you put bums on seats. You got fans, you make money, you know. So, um, you know, why not use something that's free, which is the internet and social media, to promote yourself? And uh, in an ideal world, I mean, who would you like to fight next? If you could just pick a, a dream fight for yourself. Oh, next. Uh, I don't know. Um, any of the champions, you know, I'd obviously want to unify and become a champion, um, um, be undisputed. So, you know, that's that's really my biggest goal. Um, but put all that aside, I mean, I would, I don't know. Obviously, I want to have the fight with Shannon Courtney again. I want to avenge that. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's so many fighters out there that I'd love to fight. That, yeah. I mean, is there still any uh, aggro or beef between yourself and Shannon now, or is that all that it dusted? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if I say no, how boring is that, right? <laughs> There's definitely beef. We definitely still um, there's still some tension there, um, and I think the next fight's only going to be better. Not as bad as the last Shannon that I batted. That was proper. That was that was different. There's there's no respect there at all. Um, she'll never get my respect. But Shannon Courtney, you know what? I did have a bit of respect. For, I got respect for her after that fight, and there is a bit of mutual respect there. But we still are not each other's people. How much have you improved as a fighter since that version of yourself when you first fought Shannon? Uh, tenfold. Yeah, definitely tenfold. I'm a different fighter. And now, what areas of your game have you improved on the most? Do you think? I don't know. I, I you know, I think um, my footwork. Um, you know, my, my my patience. You know, um, distance. A lot of things. Everything. You know, I'm a novice. I'm, I was novice. I still am novice. Really, I've only had ten fights. You know, but when I fought Shannon, I think it was my fifth fight or something like. So you know, I'm always growing and always learning.